Call the cases of the people. Oh, wait. All thrown off here. Got to go through my checklist of uh, turning things off. So no one can chat. All right, now we're live. People of the state of Michigan versus Daryl Purcell, 202-3521-2123687. He's here today with Mr. George and Mr. Marvin as the prosecutor. These cases are set for status conference today. And uh, Mr. George, uh, you indicate that there's yet another case that has been filed and uh, it's still down in district court. You'd like to speak with Ms. Yancey about that, who's the attorney on that case, and see about a global resolution of these files. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. So you're asking for an adjournment for that purpose? That's correct. Any, any objection, Mr. Marvin? No objection. I think it's sound. Can I ask for, for bond still? You're on bond in this case. Uh, you're on bond in this case with a surety, and you're on bond okay. in the other case with a surety. Okay. Or, no, you were had a PR bond in the first case. So right. let's bring that up. You were in file 2020. In file 20-23521. Uh, which is alleged to have occurred on July 11th, 2020, possession of methamphetamine. You were given a 15,010% bond, and you posted that on October 9th, 2020. And then we have 21-23687 that occurred on November 20th, 2020, where you were given a $5,000 PR bond. And in that case, you're yes, charged sir. with possession of meth and two counts of r &O. And now you've been arrested yet again on another charge of possession of methamphetamine. Is that correct, Mr. Marvin? Yes, that is correct. And what's the bond in that case? Oh, it hasn't been arranged yet, has it? Um, if there's an attorney, I think it's $1,500. But I'm not. Okay, yeah. $1,500? 10% $15,000. Okay, it's another 10% $15,000 cash or surety bond in that one. So what about bond, Mr. Marvin? Your Honor, I have a problem with this because it was October, February, and, and now, and it looks like about every four months or so there's an incident. And even while being supervised or watched on bond, waiting for this to, to resolve, another incident happened. And this was in public. I have been supervised. And I July 11th, July 11th, November 20th, and when was the last one? I guess this was... This was um, April, mid-April. Mid-April. I have the 27th. I have it listed as the 27th, and I don't think that's the date it happened. Or... Okay, April yeah, 27th. It the 27th, so it's just recent. All right. Um, but this was out in public, and it involved a public argument, and, you know, the community. I, I'm going to call the police. Carol. Mr. Purcell, quit I'm interrupting sorry. people. So it just it just happened, you know, we've got a nice new public library and a park setting and you've got people out there arguing and fighting and then they get caught with meth on them. And it's just, it's, I, I would ask that the court um, consider giving them a timeout. Let's get this resolved. We'll find something that, that works for everybody and, and maybe he'll qualify for a swift insure. But I, I think it's, it's gotten serious. This would be the, I would say this is the last rake. All right, uh, Mr. George. Your Honor, um, I, I've been representing Daryl uh, since the 
first case was filed. Um, he's been in good contact with me. Um, uh, just reviewing my file, I can't recall um, any time that he did not appear uh, in these cases. Um, so I do think that bond is appropriately set uh, in these files. going to do is, uh, since this is a surety, I can't, uh, I don't want to do anything without notifying the surety, but I do note that all of these, uh, there are no drug testing conditions on the bonds. So I'm modifying each of the bonds to indicate that drug testing through DRC is required. And uh, Thank I will cancel the bonds, uh, but, uh, and I'm not doing anything on the new bond, obviously, I can't do anything about that but I will modify these to indicate that now drug testing is required and he has to report to the DRC upon release from the uh, jail uh, to begin testing. Thank you. And, uh, go from there. And then, you know, if there's a violation, then we'll deal with it. All right. All right. And again, Mr. Purcell, I guess the point is, is that there's still an opportunity that Mr. Marvin is saying you have to possibly get a resolution of these, but if you pick up yet another file, okay. Uh, yeah, then I doubt no that there's no more breaks coming, so keep that in mind. Okay. All right, uh, we'll adjourn at the request of defendant, and I'll modify those.